traditional Ottoman city looks like? Well, we're here. Welcome to Safran Bolo. <laughs> Today I'm in a tiny town quietly nestled in the Black Sea region and is known as one of Turkey's most charming cities. Come with me now as we go and see what all the hype is about. This town preserves Ottoman style houses from the 18th century and although I'm not here to be looking at houses, I don't think there's a harm in having a sneak peek. Safran Bolu is a well-preserved city with untouched traditional Ottoman architecture. Its preserved beauty has made its way onto the UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1994. So I'm here now with Elif Kose, who is an architect as well as the mayor of Safran Bolu. We're going to have a chat to her now to see what insights she can give us into the township of Safran Bolu. Yaklaşık 3000 yıllık bir tarih var. Bakıp da bir şey hissetmemek mümkün değil Safran Bolu'ya. Şöyle baktığınızda zaten etkilenmiyorsanız bu evlerin değerini bilmiyorsunuz demektir. Ben Safran Bolu gibi Dünya Miras Listesi'nde yer alan UNESCO tarafından da tescillenmiş. Bu çok özel şehirde ki özelliği biliyorsunuz sadece evleri değil kent ölçeğinde korunmuş olması önemli. Çünkü bu tarz tarihi evleri her yerde görmeniz mümkün. Fakat kent olarak görmeniz çok zor. Buradan sesleniyorum hem ve bizim güzel evlerimizi, safranımızı ve lokumumuzu mutlaka görmeye gelsinler. Approximately 100 years ago, 40 villages in this city were harvesting saffron. Hence the name given to Safran Bolu, which basically means a place full of saffron. I've got my basket, let's go harvest. Although it is not really clear where this flower originated from, it is believed that it comes from Iran, but many others suggest that this flower has been around for the last 4,000 years and was actually native to Iran, the Mediterranean, as well as Anatolia, and that it was cultivated in Iran and Kashmir. The saffron flower is so delicate that from 90,000 of these flowers, you only get half a kilogram. And so I'm picking these flowers now, but tomorrow morning, these babies are gonna bloom once again. The saffron flower can grow up to 15 centimeters tall and is mainly used for things like medicine, food, cosmetics, and paint. For example, we have saffron cologne, saffron tea, saffron, saffron jam, and a special Turkish dessert called zarde. I can't resist. I've done my harvesting, my basket's full. Now it's time to go and pick these little stigmas. So I'm sitting here now with Ismail Bey. He's the owner of this saffron farm, and he's gonna show us how to pull apart these flowers. Üç tane kırmızı, üç tane sarı lif var. Kırmızılar diş organlar şu şekilde. Daha sonra bunları kurutuyoruz. Mor yapraklar ve sarıları tekrar başka bir yerde kurutuyoruz. Bunlardan safranlı reçel yapıyoruz. Bunlar yemeklerde kullanılıyor, ilaç sanayinde kullanılıyor, çay olarak içiliyor. After exploring Safran Bolu, make sure you don't miss out on the famous saffron infused Turkish coffee, which pairs perfectly with Turkish delight. Made with saffron, of course.